afternoon. I'm just at the park with uh, Johnny and the kids. Um, I've been recording some footage today and I did record um, an intro some hours ago but I've just looked back at it and it, oh, I look so rough. <laughs> so I thought, oh, I'll redo it and realise now I don't actually look any better, but hey ho, let's have another go anyway. Uh, so I really enjoyed vlogging the other day uh, and I thought I'd like to give it another go. I'm trying to work out which side I need it to look at. Is that better? Yes, I think that's right, isn't it? So sorry about the spooky weird eyes but there you go i've um, recorded various different projects again to show you today um and i'm going to show you some more footage of the hat that i showed you the other day for cosmo because when i watched it back i realized that it looked i, I didn't really show you anything of it at all so uh, sorry about that but i'll show you when we get home we're about to head off home now so it won't be long and then i'll be able to get it out again and give you a better look at that so I hope you enjoy today's little insights um, and I'll speak to you later. Bye! Oh, little fluffy black fluff boys. Oh, hello! Now what kind are you? I can never remember. Are you baby coots or baby moorhens? Such cuteness. Look at all the ducks over there. I'm making some snowflakes. I fi finally finished the edging on my uh, Christmas tree skirt, which I will make. Uh, I'll show you in a little bit. So now I've started um, on some sparkly little snowflakes. I've done one already, but that's inside. Um, these are just a, f a little free pattern from Ravelry. Um, and then this one that I'm doing here is one from this really brilliant book which Johnny bought me for Christmas. It's 100 Snowflakes to Crochet by Caitlin Sainio. Sainio? Sainio. But there's some real pretties in here. My sister's done a lot of these snowflakes. So that's that's the one I'm doing at the moment if you can see it. And I'm just about to start my third round there. Uh, so later on when I get a moment I'll, um, I'll lay the skirt out on the table again and place some of the snowflakes on it to show you my, my general progress. I've also got a finished object to show you later, so uh, I'll look forward to sharing that with you. Here's a little update on the Christmas tree skirt. I have finished the edging with these cute little pom-poms. A little border of red first, just double crochets. Uh, and then I've done these welts to finish it off. These look a little bit puckered because, if I can find one, I'm sure it's this one, has got um, buttonholes in it. So I need to get some buttons to finish that off. Ooh, flashy lights. And then I've just started crocheting the snowflakes to go on, which I will stitch down so that they're all nice and flat and neat. But, and I've got quite a lot to make as you can see because that only covers a tiny little area of it but once it's got snowflakes all around I think that's going to be really cute and I'm toying with the idea of a few sequins as well but we'll see how we go with the um, the snowflakes as you can't really tell in this light but these snowflakes uh, you might have seen just a tiny bit of it then can you can you see it on that one? Oh, yeah, a tiny bit. They are, they've got like a sparkly iridescent strand going through them. So the book that I'm using, I showed you a bit ago, is that 100 Snowflakes. Uh, so these are both the same design, these two. Uh, so I'll spread them out and I'm going to do two or three of various different ones. I don't want any massive ones to dominate it too much. And then I'm just going to do these little tiny ones, which are a free pattern that I found on Pinterest um, for in between. And I'll probably just press these with a damp cloth to flatten them, then pin them on and you just use a sewing thread to attach them, I think. It's going to be a bit of a labour of love, but it'll be worth it, I think. I'm so pleased with how it's coming out. Also, I made a lot of buttonholes. I'm, si I'm tempted to take that welt, well, that button band thing at the back out 
and redo it slightly differently. I'm not sure that I'm actually that pleased with how it looks. It might be a bit big and chunky, but I'll see. I'll see how I feel once I've done the rest of it. I can leave that free um, and just titivate that bit at the end if I'm not happy. Anyway, yes, there we go. That's that's a, a progress update on that. And in a bit, I'll show you a finished item that I've got. Mm-hmm. I'm just filming. Sorry? I'm just doing a few minutes, seconds of filming. Sorry. Right. Yeah. I mean, scorching now. It was uh, overcast and threatening to start raining when we came out. Didn't bring any blooming sunscreen with us. working on the mitts to go with the um, the hat which I've made for Cosmo for Christmas which by the way when I watched the video back I realised somehow I'd managed to not show at all and um, so apologies for that it must be very frustrating been very frustrating to watch but I will um, get it out again later today and show you but uh, yeah I've got a little head wig there look on my mitts and this is a new yarn colour which I dyed up especially for Cosmo but I'm thinking about doing it on some of the um, some of my sock bases because I think it's working out quite nicely um, yeah this is the DK Merino base in a minute I'll show you the uh, the finished mitt because this is the second one they work up ever so quickly because I've only got 44 stitches on and it knits up into a really squishy fabric especially because it's a DK and I'm knitting it on the three mil needles so that it has that really nice dense squishy feeling and it feels really warm and cosy on the hand hopefully feels nice for me anyway here we go this is the, uh, the little knit which I'm just uh, making as I go along it's a two by two rib where I've twisted the knit stitches every fourth round and then a little thumb stocking stitch with a little thumb gusset and then just a couple of decreases into the thumb and some more of the rib at the top and hopefully these should last in a few a fair few years I mean they're a bit sm snug I can actually get these onto my hand oops, see if I can do this one handed not very easily there we go See, so they do fit me a bit on the small side but I'm hoping that means and I think them being fingerless makes them a bit more versatile and a bit more um, uh, adaptable I suppose and hopefully last them a bit longer so that's the first one and then this is the uh, this is the yarn in the count I was thinking it would make a really nice sock yarn, a brilliant colour for men's. It's a little bit like my Deesa's Dream colourway, but not quite the same. And I've got them in this sort of wizardy, Harry Potter-ish bag, which my sister got from the law made for me, and I'm loving it. And there you go. That's what I'm doing while we're here at the park. Right, so I'm having another go at showing you this hat that I made for Cosmo now. You can see it a lot better there. Let me just uh, get a bit closer. I've come up into the bedroom and shut the door so that you can't hear what I'm saying. But this is the Grow With Me Ear Flap Hat. So there's your flaps. If you'll pardon the expression. And some um, eye cord tassels. In the design they have a pom-pom, a little pom-pom on the end of each um, tie. But I don't think I'm going to put those on. But I am going to make a pom-pom for the top of the hat. 
I absolutely love this design. Really simple to knit, but really pleasant. I think it just is really effective to look at. And then there's the little mitties to go with. That's one. That's the second one. I just got back from the park and I've just finished the rib on the way back. So I'm going to get onto the hand. Hopefully not be long before I'm done with those. So that's those. Let me just grab. Oh, I'm trying to do too many things at once here. And then the oh, boxes of baby books that need to go in the loft because I can't part with them. The things behind the camera. This is the uh, finished object I said about earlier. This is a pair of socks. They are the blueberry waffle pattern. Um, it's a free pattern on Rav. I can't remember the name of the designer off the top of my head. I'll try and remember to look and see and tell you next time I record. Uh, but the yarn is um, by a local to me dyer from Sheffield called the Yarn Badger. It's the first time I've... Oh, that's better. I'm just trying to fertile one-handed in my project bag to see if I can find a label to show you. The colourway is... No, that's a Marks and Spencer's voucher that Mum foisted onto me. Oh, that feels more like it, yeah. So the... Um, it's... Can I open this up anymore? What am I doing? Oh, this one-handed malarkey is not easy. Anyway, I wanted to show you that bit, look. The yarn badger. Hand-dyed yarns, and she's based a few miles up the bypass from me in Sheffield. And the colour is Union. And that's on the sparkle. Merino sparkle with 20% nylon. Uh, so that's the main self-striping. She does the most amazing self-striping. She's got herself a new loyal customer <laughs> in me. And she's just opened up her own independent um, website shop as well. Um, so she's well worth a look. She's got some gorgeous, gorgeous colours that I really want. I'm kind of excited to see what she brings out for Christmas as well. And then the heels and toes are West Yorkshire Spinners Signature 4 Ply. Uh, in the 06, it doesn't say what the actual name is on the ball bands, but that's what it is. So there we go. I'm really, really happy with those. Could take a photo whilst we're here as well, actually, because uh, I think the light's reasonably good here. And then I can uh, pop those onto Rav um, and put them on Instagram. And then put them away until it's cold enough for me to have my hand knit socks on again. Hooray! I'm going to end the day quite similarly to the way I started it with a little bit of snuggling and crochet. Uh, I thought I'd just show you one or two bits and bobs to finish the day off with. Um, these are the two different things that I've decided to, yarns that I've decided to use to make some snowflakes. This is the very inexpensive um, acrylic yarn that's got the, um, the sparkle in it. You can get it from, uh, I can't remember which brand this is now, but there's the one called Twinkle and then there's, I think there's a James Seabrett one and maybe a King Cole one or something. But I've only got a little bit of that left because I did quite a few um, snowflakes in this last year. But I'm going to pop and get another ball of that from my local yarn shop next week. And then this other one, I actually can't remember. I think it might be called Stargazer. But um, it's, yeah, that doesn't say anything in there. It just says something about dye lot. But this is like, um, it's what we used to call like a gold fingering type lurex oh it's terrible it come, drops off all the time a lurex um yarn um and it's a silver base but then it's got all these lovely sort of um subtle pastel -y tones to it as well and i just think that really adds a lot of dimension to it so i've decided to do some snowflakes in that as well uh, so yes you'd already seen these ones and these ones and then i've made these two in the um, lorexy type thread uh, and because that's more of a four ply weight um, I'm using a slight this the, the white is like a DK and that's more like a four ply 
So uh, for the DK one, I'm using this hook, which is very mankily covered with some leftover Fimo from another project I've been working on. And that's a 3.5 mil hook. I think this was just a free hook that came on a magazine or something. But yeah, I just used some of these leftover Fimos and a bit of glittery nail varnish and stuff to make a handle for it because um, it hurts my grip too much to hold a normal thin hook. And then the um, the gold fingering ones uh, I'm doing on a 3 mil hook and this is another one which I covered with some Fimo um, a long, long time ago, three or four years ago probably now, but I didn't bring the handle anywhere near high enough up and I still hold it here which defeats the object so even though I really like this I'm going to break that old handle off and rebake this one with um, with one that comes up here and gets oh, chunkiest here at the griffy point, point and I think that will make it um, a lot more comfortable for me to use I did try doing one of those um, tiny smallest snowflakes in this silver but I wasn't happy with the way it came out it just looks a little bit too raggedy I think if I want to do them in this yarn because they're so tightly worked um, I think it needs to be done on a slightly smaller hook still and I'm not sure I really want to work at that tension so I'll probably just do the smaller ones in the white because they look nice and even so that's my progress on my snowflakes but I think I've had enough crochet I might just do one more to finish the day I really like this design this is the last one I did um, once they've been blocked they'll show up even more it's just got these tiny little picots in between the little points which look really sweet and it's very lacy um, but you don't see the detail quite as well I don't think in this silvery yarn as you do in the white um, that shows up the stitch definition a lot more as you can see so I'd like to make that one in the white as well so I think I'll just do that and then um, I'm going to carry on working on the little mittens uh, I'm about to watch the oh dear that's not good is it let me just see if I can tilt that to oh that's a bit better just about to watch the lovely jewels of so sweet violet um, blog vlog sorry Nump day 13 I always enjoy that. Her house is so beautiful and she's such a calm and cosy person. She really makes me feel relaxed and gives me a nice sense of well-being. I just wanted to show you one other thing. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already said, seen this, but this is something I started making a few months ago uh, and finished recently. Now this is um, a gnome which I've made ready for Christmas. Oh dear, the light's not very good, is it? That's a bit better. Uh, so tall I can't fit him in the frame properly Her, uh, yeah him I think the actual pattern name is Natalie the gnome with a silent G for the Natalie it's got a little leaf on the top of his hat and then all of these lovely leaf details in his hat and then um, I used some leftover London House yarn Yule Ball colourway from my Christmas socks three, three years ago I think it was three years ago um, and just used a bit more of the hats yarn on the base because I didn't want to run out of this uh, just a bit of um, that's some really old Rowan four ply soft and a bit of other stuff out of my stash just to finish him off and then he's got some Christmas buttons and a big jingle bell on his hat so he's going to once I've finished the um, Christmas tree skirt I'm going to find a box or something and a, and a place to stash these things away probably under the bed or something so he's just waiting patiently to be put away um, until December so um, I've really enjoyed vlogging again today um, I'm going to say TTFN and hopefully I'll be back with you in a couple of days with a little bit more of a vlog for you. So night night, sleep tight or have a happy day if you're watching this in the morning. I uh, hope we get lots of time for crafting and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!